Yeah, it is so lovely to have a melter now. Yes, as you might be able to tell, the problems with shadow play continue to happen. But regardless, welcome back to our journey beyond the abyss. It is so lovely to have a smelter. Mm, melter, yes. I'm going to get that confused. It's probably an indication that we need to upgrade this to a smelter as soon as possible, which uh, isn't far from off the table, really. Yeah, that's just a bunch more seared bricks. But in the meantime, oh, it still produces pollution while it's trying to melt. So let's at least get that. Yes, today on the menu is uh, we're just going to have to get together all of the Tinker's Construct initial tables together. We are finally going to unlock the ability to create us some proper tools. And uh, time to check out on this. Yep. Yes, that's about the point that the recording failed the last time. So, now that it's, uh, yes, now that it's cooperating again, hopefully we can continue on throughout our evening. I'll check that again in just a little bit. Mm. Yes. Unfortunately, this is a bit less involving than hammering out these tool rods on the anvil. But it's just so much more convenient. And really, I think, judging from Riley's Let's Play, Riley Kuhl, all I'm going to need is some sort of con constant redstone source. Unfortunately, that just isn't on the table right now. I don't think even redstone... Oh, chiseled redstone blocks are kind of a thing. If I were to go and get a block of redstone, then I may be able, if I can create myself a chisel, I may be able to use those chiseled redstones to produce constant signal. Maybe. And that's even if uh, constant signal works with these taps. Which my brain doesn't tell me it should, but again, from what I've seen in Riley's Let's Play, they seem to. I don't know, I'm confused in that regard. That is just something that will require science. So this is going to take 13 of these. Yes, yeah, so I, might, I might as well, since I put copper in, I might as well uh, immediately upgrade. Now I'm... Mm, that might be enough. Nothing for it but to see. No, we're just one short. That is a tragedy. Yes, it is lovely to have lots of those now. Ah, yes. Let's go down and retrieve some more limestone. A significantly easier task nowadays. Let's head out to our proper mine and let's clear out. I'm, I'm sure we've run across some of it down in the, in the sun well. Yes. This stuff is so common. It was not a matter of if, just how far I'd have to look. Hmm. Not uncovering much of it, though. All things considered. Ah, here's a lovely large vein. That should sustain our industry for a little while. And I'm going to avoid digging up the pyrotech because I have a bit of a plan for the Tinker's Construct tools that should make that pyrotech limestone even more useful. Goodness, this is a lovely vein of limestone. I'm surprised nothing's collapsed on my head. Is this stuff immune from the collapse mechanic? If so, then this stuff is even more wonderful than I thought. Hmm. 
Uh, even a little bit of copper. This is a lovely profitable trip. Goodness, the limestone just won't quit. Well, you know, we have almost a stack of it. Let's complete the stack, and even then if I have more. Yeah, that's, that's enough for now. Yes, I told you that limestone is now a significantly easier chore, especially since we can process it so wonderfully quickly. Nope. I forgot about the artisan's tools. Really hate that feature. Oh well. Yes, and let's just put that away. Let's make two stacks of it. That seems to be a uh, pattern that is working rather well for us. Yes. It more or less slakes relatively evenly. Not quite. I jumped the gun in my mental count. Must wait to actually see it become quickened. And... There. Yes. We get quite a number of uh, lovely double stacks of slaked lime before we run out and uh, have a wasteful batch, I suppose. Not exactly wasteful, just a setup for a nice long era of convenience. I know I need more flint. And even though my pickaxe is really short, I don't think I'm going to rebuild it, because I'm going to hope that this refractory clay will last me, because uh, I have quite a lot of tool rods. I'm going to hope that this batch will last me until I can create something better. But if not, it's not a huge deal. These Minecraft uh, tools are very swift and easy to construct. It'll just be a matter of... Uh, well, let, let's see how many more tools tool sets are we going to need before the end of things? Let's keep some shovel just in case we need to compact things. But let's see if we can get through without needing to uh, to break out another pickaxe, another shovel, another what have you. Let's see if we can make it all the way to our forever tools now. Almost enough for a block. go. Yes, and the fact that we get more than a stack of uh, flint clay is also quite lovely. And just as easy as that, we have quite a lot more refractory clay to play with. Let's just make us a nice bundle. And with that, we can finish off that. And let's see how far that gets us. Oh, and those. Hmm. Eh. There. And let's...
let's just make our change into bricks. Yep. Hmm. Maybe I should start upgrading all the chests into their sturdy versions. It will be a little while before we have the means of uh, making proper Minecraft chests to make a more compact and convenient storage solution. Hmm. Let's run some of those first. It is definitely still a wonderful luxury having a proper dang bucket. That is just a beautiful, beautiful feeling that theoretically I never need to build another bucket again unless I need them for crafting purposes. Which, yeah, you sometimes do. Wait, dirt bucket? What's that used for? Huh. Oh, look at that. We have apple pips understood. Didn't we pick up one of those? Yeah, we did. We can theoretically go and grow an apple tree. That would be neat. Are apples actually useful for anything? Let's see, they can make that apple juice. I think that's just a full, uh, a full thirst refill that has no chance of dehydrating you. Hmm. Well, we're eventually going to want them for some purpose. And I think that baked apple is pretty good food. Regardless. Regardless, we need to start making us some of these Tinker's tools. Now... Most of these Tinker's Tables in our quests are going to hit, use the same base. They're going to use the crafting station. And that is just going to require some basic workshops. So let's count how many of those we're going to need. We're going to need one, two, three more of those. And we all know how those basic workshops go by now. butts to bed. I'm still bummed that the Great Enlightenment project failed for the hour that I invested in it. How far would I have to go with torches to get a hundred and twenty odd blocks? Let's let's guess like a, right there. How far away is that? Yeah. So to get a proper enlightenment going I would need to do what I did again just all the way out to here, 120 in every direction. And that should provide safety from monsters. And with the work I've done, that wouldn't take forever, but it would take for fucking ever. I would need to light up the entire town. I would need to make sure all the buildings that are constructed have full lighting on the inside. All the trees that are growing, I would need to make sure that they have torches under them. It would be kind of nightmarish, to be honest. Alright, so next I'm going to need... I need some more stone bricks. I'm not carrying anything heavy. Let's get us three nice stacks to bring home. We might as well build our bricks in huge batches. Hmm. Yes, just drink out of the fountain. Ah, they've upgraded the fort. Wonderful news. Oh, right. They needed wool for something, didn't they? Let's run that real quick before I forget about it. That's an easy and even profitable venture. All we need to do is run by the old man. Out here, by his lovely little farm. Where we are hopefully never going to have to play the farmer game again. And let's just buy as many as we can carry. How much? Okay, let, let's... Where's my purse? Uh, six gold, 31 silver, 52 copper. Six, it costs about it costs about ten ish silver to buy a stack of wool. 
Let's buy... Yeah, about that many. That should keep them stocked up on wool for all practical purposes forever. Come on, game. You can do it, game. You do. Hmm, is that new? Or is that just freshly upgraded? No, that's new. That's a chicken farm. Neat. What does the chicken farm sell? Where's the... Where's the shop summoner? All the way inside here? Neat. If they're even coming. It sometimes takes NPCs a little while. Sometimes I think that maybe the villager is not chunk loaded or something. Oh, hello. And they sell feathers, chicken, eggs, and buy wheat and seeds. Roughly what you would expect. Neat. Unfortunately, they have no fancy, uh, fancy village food like tripes made out of chickens. In any case, I suppose that is at least a nice source if I wanted to get myself some, like, feathers or something without having to kill a chicken because, uh, again, this, this, this game has, um, if I attack the, if I attack the animals, they will, uh, not appreciate it. But yes, we made a little bit of profit off of that. I think we made about 10-ish silver in total. Very mild profit. But more importantly, we provided wool to the village. I don't think they've gained any white stained glass or any stained glass windows since they started making them. Hmm. What does, uh, where is the glazier? I should be able to tell from the pollution cloud. Hmm. Very carefully turned the glass. Okay. It must be that... Hmm. They buy sand and glass. They have glass. They have the dyes. Why are they not making windows? Like, the NPC should be holed away in there constantly producing. Bizarre. In any case, let's buy us some stone. That's what I came here for. Oh good, they're upgrading the cidery. Maybe I can get myself the fancy super healing cider. Oh, we are so close to construct armory. Well, can I even build the thing from construct's armory that I... I mean... Technically, I could. It's just that I would need the blacksmith workshop. And I think the blacksmith workshop is really high up. Yeah. So it'll be a little while before we can break the weight limit. Because those belts of storage, that's what we need to no longer have to deal with what I'm dealing with right now. Alternately, I suppose the... Traveler's knapsack for a chestplate accessory works, but that would mean I wouldn't be able to wear my O2 tank. And I think that's just a non-starter. So it will have to be the Traveler's belt, which is a accessory that goes on pants. We will make ourselves fancy pants of gravity breaking. Hmm. Sure, let's spread the garlicky love. I don't think that's fully grown. Huh. I guess maybe they weren't fully grown yet? Oh well. Yes, note even just wading through water, how much faster we were moving. Right. 
it's three stacks, not two. I was just getting screwed up by various things happening. Lovely. And that should suffice for quite a lot of work. Now, did I? Sure, let's use these. Now for these, un, deux, trois. There we go. And right, I need some regular andesite. There we go. From there, it should be relatively simple. I just need 21 wood. I am definitely glad. I know that it is a a horrific waste of uh, it, it, it is an overindulgence, but it's an overindulgence I'm glad I overindulged in. That nice lazy sawmill is just a wonderful decision that I am not regretting. Okay, and now for the hard part. So, let's put more paste on. That's just something we're gonna have to constantly cook. Okay, so it's gonna require Also, I guess, uh, yeah, let's get those, eight of those, twelve of those is what I should have got, there we go, and from there, Okay, so I was going to need 35 per, I'm going to need 105 bricks. And I'm probably going to need more paste than what I have at the moment. And let's just get into bed again, because those days they keep a flying. Actually, wait, it's 7 by 3 that we need, so we need 21 of those. I was thinking in the terms of the 4 we had to make earlier for uh, for the melter, still, I think. Yep. And that pretty much depleted that entire trip we just did. <laughs> Isn't that wonderful? Yeah. And basically as soon as they build that moat, which I don't think they built it yet. It's a pretty high tier fort upgrade. Maybe I shouldn't wait. Maybe I should just roughly guess how far down I need to dig. But no, I don't trust myself to guess. Then again, by the time they build the moat, maybe I won't have as much need of these stone bricks. Hmm. It's a worrying proposition either way. out good <sighs> and 
already I'm hungering for even more convenient methods. I've saved myself one step. I want to save myself all steps. Oh well. Now, how are we on refractory bricks? Gonna need 20 of those. 16 of these. Four of these, I need more iron in my diet. Oh no, I need a lot more. I need 20 per, so I need 40 more of those bricks. Yeah, and I'm just short. Just a day late and a dollar short. All right. Well, thankfully that's a relatively easy thing to fix these days. I'm gonna need more flint, aren't I? Yeah, just a little bit more though. Also, I should put more clay on the cooker. Is there any in there? Yeah. Who's... Well, you know what? This is probably the one that's going to be... Yeah. Let's put it all into that one. need to hunt down like one piece of flint just to complete the pattern the pattern of easy lazy smashy with my luck. Flint is... Yeah, it's gonna take a little while. Oh, I did pick up a couple of pieces and just didn't notice, I guess. Throw out everything but the diorite. There we go. You know, now that... Only the saw blades are requiring diorite. I certainly have to stockpile a lot less of it. But I'm getting a good collection right now. And there's nothing wrong with that. With our semi-automatic sawmill, it might be nice to have a lot of saw blades stocked up anyway. just in case we want to make a mega structure out of wood or something. That is kind of on the table now, I suppose, making large structures out of wood. Since, uh, effectively, uh, I can mass produce it pretty easily now. Just keep this nice and full. Keep all of it nice and full. Why not? It costs us nothing in now. Uh, yes, and I need my flint in order to make my smashy. Just like so. Pretty soon we might have to start looking for uh, ways of uh, dealing with our excess flint clay. Well, then again, I suppose that it might just mean that eventually I save myself a hunt for flint. Hmm. Okay, let's turn do I have a full stack of clay balls in storage yes I do 
So let's turn all of these. Yeah, you know what? I have two stacks of lumps. That'll make me 32 more glue. Let's just turn it all into bricks. We are going to need a good collection. Now, unlike with the sawmill that even the refractory version punches things one at a time, if I wanted to make a semi-auto um, kiln, which would be a horrendous overindulgence, even beyond the auto sawmill, at least the auto sawmill is slow enough that you kind of want to automate it. The kiln is so fast there's no reason to. But if... I wanted to be overindulgent. I would want to use the mechanical hopper for that, at least for right now. And that is not unfeasible, it's actually relatively cheap. The problem is I would need to make these cogs for it. Yes, these cogs not only determine the durability, and you see they get quite durable. Yes, on to the obsidian. But they also determine how much it can do. Yes. Hmm. I think the obsidian cog is just straight up inferior to the diamond. That's interesting. But yes. See, with the mechanical hopper, um, a diamond cog will move 64 items at a time if it can. So it'll move things at a full stack at the same rate as a normal hopper, and it'll last for a good long time, 16,384 items. Well, 16,384 operations, I should say. So a maxi could move that many stacks of material. Yeah. And the iron ain't much of a downgrade, really. So yeah, the cogs last a good long time, just not forever. And yet I think, yeah, the obsidian is a supposed upgrade of the diamond, and yet it is a downgrade. Bizarre. Just keep cycling that. Hmm. I suppose if I was really wanting to be frivolous, I could just start running wood through this solely to get me wood chips. In fact, I think even if I just run sticks through there, that would give me wood chips directly. Wouldn't it? I know that if I chop them with an axe in my hand, I'll get wood chips. Huh. It's only on a stone sawmill with a flint blade that you get wood chips. That's fascinating. I guess these normal blades are just so incredible that they obliterate them entirely. Well, in any case, maybe that would be a means of better automating paper once I have... Um, once I have more sturdy tools. Presuming that Tinker's tools are compatible with inventory crafting, which they aren't always. In any case, I'm gonna need eight more of these. Lovely. And now I have a nice collection of refractory bricks as well. That should last a goodly while. And I don't have enough iron. Time to go and get those. I need the Norman pickaxe. Do I need the... No, I don't need the Norman pickaxe. Oh well. We have the Norman pickaxe anyway. And I'm feeling paranoid. Yep. Our recording is still active. 
which means I'm probably safe for the rest of the session. If it hasn't given up by now. Alright. Oh, that's a lovely gravel bed. If I need to hunt more flint, I know where to go now. Which one is the deck that I need to... Here it is. Just let me in, please. I suppose I do kind of need the Norman pick just so I don't run out my stone. And I can say that I honestly made it to the to the next uh, era. What else should I pick up? Let's pick up some more copper. There. Good. Is that emerald ore? It is. If I pick up enough emeralds, I could make one of these emerald mortars, and that's actually the the mortar we want to make. These mortars are useful for a number of things. It's how we make flour if we wanted to start processing wheat into bread. Um, it's how we make a lot of dyes. It's the more convenient way of processing bone meal. It's also how we get seeds out of melons and pumpkins if we wanted to make our own pumpkin patch. Yeah, we, we can't... Oh, and it's how we get sugar as well if we wanted to make a cake. So it's nice to have a mortar around. And these shall provide... I don't think those blocks can be fortuned. I think they're just a guaranteed one emerald drop. But I'm possibly, probably, almost definitely wrong, question mark. I'm I think those ores are geolysis or rock hounding. Are they geolysis? Yeah, they're geolysis or geolysis. What is geolysis? The lysing of geology? The process of bacteria eating rocks, maybe? Hmm. Interesting. Yeah, let's continue using the Norman pick. All right, and uh, put these away. And there we go. That's the hard part of our furnaces done. Now I just need nine more iron and uh, 21 cobblestone. There, oh no, 15 cobblestone. Okay. And yes, I think it was just a tier one um, one, two, three, four, five, and a piece of flint. And there, that's just a nice little mortar for us to have. It's, it has an interesting little, I like the little, I like the little guy grooving out in the, uh, in the upper little UI there. Mm. Yeah, it's a fairly simple thing to use. You put stuff in the mortar, you hold right click, it makes the thing. Yep. Easy peasy as that. No, I, I don't think I'm going to keep this flower. Alright, so from there, we just need 18 wood. And there's the hard part of our tables done. Now, we're gonna need how many patterns? Let's see. So, each of these effectively needs to be made twice because it, it, uh, it makes the builder itself and then it makes the crafting station, so. Two, three, four, five. 
Uh, so that's 10, 20, 30. Well, if, if we're doing all the quests, yeah, I think that these use the same. Okay. Okay, but those only those only are going to require a chest. And a chest doesn't take any more patterns. So, 10, 20, 30, 35, 40 patterns in total is what we're going to need. And how many patterns do we get for craft? So I just need 10. So I'm going to need 40 leather. And I'm going to need a bunch of planks, possibly more than I have. Oh, and I'm going to need my sticks, yes. Uses 9 per. So that would be a total of 90. I might not have enough. It does use a total of 9 per, right? 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Yeah. Might not have enough and might need more coal tar. Yeah, need more coal tar, possibly. Goodness gracious. Well, yeah, we're a bit short. We're just a bit short. Well, uh, that's what we got the melter for. And that'll even give us a nice even amount of, uh, of copper rods for our crafting. Yes, I, I guess I could run more paste. I can always run more paste. Just to keep the pattern going. And I suppose I could be emptying out my wood tar too. Just in case I need more coal tar. You have a really nice collection of it. Yeah, that was almost three buckets full, I guess. Lovely. Ah, good. Yes, right now the only convenience I could add to this is uh, I could add a wooden hopper to the bottom of this pointing into a chest, and that would mean I wouldn't have to right-click the tool rod off of the cast. It would just go into storage, but that is such a minor convenience. That is basically only useful if I find some way to automate the pour. Because if I've automated the pour, then all I need to do is take the tool right out and I have this thing fully automated. I'd just throw the copper blocks in and come back like five minutes later to a nice collection of tool rods. And that's very lovely and convenient. But no, we do not yet have that level of technology. Unless my hypothesis about the cheaty cheaty redstone is accurate. And I do, in fact, know of a place where I could achieve redstone, where I could uh, retrieve redstone blocks. I know where they exist. And I think that once I have these tinker tables up, I could... I could make myself a chisel. Actually, can I make myself a chisel right now? Out of anything? No, not without a blacksmith workshop. But, um, yeah. Tinkerer's Construct has an add-on that allows you to create custom chisels, and that's probably what I'll be using. So, yes, as soon as we get those tables up and running, a lot of things are going to open up.
Tinker's Construct is an incredibly lovely mod. I'm definitely glad it's in the pack, and I'm definitely glad I've earned my way to it. Alright, collection of rods, collection of balls. How are we on these tier ones? Okay, so I'm going to need 14 of these. And that should do us. Excellent. Lovely collection of rods. And put those artisanal tools back, please. That's good enough for the moment. All right, so we need more wood. We really need more wood. Okay, and well, let's clear up some slots in there. I think I was short on compressed sticks a little bit. Yeah, let's just toss out the remainder unless there's an easy use for them I have somewhere. I suppose I could craft some more tier 1 tool rods. Alright, let's... Is there an easy way for me to get a uh, stone rod? Other than just smashing it on the anvil? Yeah, there isn't really. Well, we might need a new pickaxe. Need is a strong word, but... Uh, Like, I, I think technically I don't need to do this. But just so that I'm not wasting, you know? I need more than that. Let's see, that was four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, I think is what I would need. Lovely. And from there, we should be able to do that. Uh, not quite enough pulp. Oh, wait. Yeah, not enough pulp. There. Better. Lovely collection of Tier 1 rods for our perusal later on. And I guess we'll just double those up. And these dang artisanal tools don't want to stay in their place. Aggravating. All right. And... Ah, oh, yes. I needed some of those. I needed... I need to make more refractory clay. Surprising no one. Wait a minute, what? Shouldn't I? Uh, it's wood I need right now. Yes, of course. I just assumed it would be the tool rods, I guess. Because I lost track of what I was doing. But no. It is the lovely wood that we are short on. Excellent. That should be more than enough. And let's just get that going in the background. Serenade us with the sound of lovely sawing wood. That'll be a little while. Mm. Yeah, I suppose that while it's going, I could cook up some more refractory. That's just a lovely thing to do to fill the time. Actually, is, uh, is this done? And the 
let's get some more clay cooking as always I think you pretty much constantly want this thing filling up Good collection of wood chips so far. Excellent. And that should be enough to get us going with our parts patterns. How are we? Yeah, we're going to need some more coal tar right quick. But I think it can wait until we're finished with the, uh, with the initial rush. All right. So, these crafting stations, they're going to need some fences. They're going to need loads of glue. So I do need to build more refractory. Well, yeah, I do need to build more refractory because I need the clay balls for the, for the slime. Let's just turn one of our spare ones for making. I, I guess that this is still technically part of uh, part of glue production is making the slime. Let's take these. Oops. Take that. I don't have enough pulp. But we are producing wood chips now. And with that, we can get just a little bit more pulp. And with that, we can get just a little bit more glue. How much are we going to need in total? Let's see. So these crafting stations, did the secondary use? Yeah, that's going to require. So three, six, eight. So going to need 24 and going to need 48 glue total. That's going to be a little bit of doing. Just a little bit. And that is why I like having jack-o'-lanterns instead of torches. My lighting is not disrupted when I inevitably make mistakes. Let's continue on. Let's just get the slime done. Yeah, that should be enough slime. Since we're kind of producing pulp on the side, too. Do I have any more convenient way of making pulp? No, it's kind of soaking pot or not a... Yeah. You see how vastly efficient the workshop is compared to the soaking pot, but sadly it can't do sugar cane. Which is by far the easier source. Tragedy. In any case, let's keep on uh, producing our refractory clay, I suppose.
two losses. Unfortunate. Let's keep on pouring our clay out into this and And we have, for once, exactly enough. I need more flint, and that means I'm gonna need a more. And the, I'm gonna need more shovel, and I'm probably gonna need more axe to deal with these wood chips. So yes, we were not on our last batch of tools before our forever tools, and I don't think I'm going to even call this batch my last batch. It'll just happen when it happens. But it will be happening soon. It will definitely be happening soon. Now I think I saw a lovely bed of gravel just up near our current mining target. I think that in general, once the game stops lagging, once you get uh, up to the north a little bit, into these more plainsy areas, there tend to be large beds of... Yeah, see? This is a nice big bed of pink gravel. I don't think the color determines what type of stone or anything you're going to get from it. Like, there is uh, beds of diorite-colored gravel, but I've not noticed significantly more diorite coming out of it. <sighs> Still, these lovely big plains make for nice relaxing mowing of resources. Plus, I'm exposing a bit more of the cliff face here, which makes for very convenient mining. And you see these things go quite deep too, so we have a very nice collection of resources to dig into. Okay, I'm going to want to keep a little bit of the shovel just for making uh, clay blocks. Hmm. I was hoping for more than that, but I guess that's just the luck of the draw. Did I throw out diorite? No, I didn't. I thought I had to punish myself there. To start compacting this. Let's see here. Two, three. Yeah, let's just let's just compact it all. It's fine. I'm sure that before we need a new saw blade, I will have gathered up a new collection of diorite rocks. Oh right, I have no. That is my second shovel. These three spaces to build up uh, wood chips in seems to be a nice balance for uh, ease of ease of just leaving it and then coming by and getting them. Okay, so the slime is assembled. I'm also going to need at least two, possibly three stacks of pulp. And 
I'm of course going to need more refractory clay balls. You empty yet? All right, I was gathering flint for the purpose of the flint clay to finish off the. There we go. Hmm. And there we go. And, oops. From there, I just need my pulp now. There's one stack of it together. Oh, right, the slime. There we go. I shouldn't be carrying more than I need, I suppose. It gets inconvenient to gather it all up. And I'm only going to need one more stack. The rest of this I can convert to balls. Let's just brickify those. It's a bit of an inconvenient use of the fire bow and the it's a loss of a piece of charcoal flake, but meh. It's fine. What are these doing? Wow. Two stacks of refractory bricks. That's impressive. Definitely going to be finishing this off when I have the pulp to spare. Oh, you're done? Neat. Lovely collection of planks. Let's clear some of that. There we go. Let's just visibly... Okay, so I could process one stack of something in here. Possibly more if I can clear these sticks out. Almost. <sighs> and not a stack yet. Come on, Sugar King, grow faster. You're such a large field, you should be doing more than this. I suppose this is a bit of a crunch. Desperately needing to process loads and loads of it all at once. There we go. Almost what I needed, but I have some in storage, so it's fine. There we go. And with that, we should have a stack of pulp, which should allow us to do what we need to do. Almost done with the hard parts. Almost. I suppose that in the meantime I could start building a crap ton of fence posts that I'm going to need. Yeah, 
yeah, that's that's probably more than I need, but fence post is a thing that is useful in general because it can be used to shore up uh, mining walls. And there we go. We finally got the glue together. And I think I said I would need 40 of it? Question mark. I don't know. In any case, so to make that crafting station, we're going to need three pieces of metal and a bunch of boards. Or three pieces of iron, I should say. And a bunch of slabs. And that should be that. Goody. Now we can start on, oh, I need one, two, three, six, eight more glue. Yep, and as you see, the only difference is what you put in the bottom little slot there. So, the part builder, that's gonna call for a log. And I think something in the quest book actually said, a uh, message for, Quest does not have open. Quest does not have or direction or or dictionary for other tool part builders. Uh, so only oak will work. I need a piece of specifically oak wood, which I don't think I have any left. But that's easy to resolve. We'll just go and buy one from the Normans. It's about time we checked in on them anyway. Alternately, I could steal one from their tree farm. But that might be rude. Ooh, the inn is looking much prettier. Do they have a stock of cider to sell yet? Come on, don't be shy. They do, but they don't have Calva yet. I think I might have to buy Calva straight from the cidery. Yeah, they need a cauldron, you say, for the tavern. I know of a place I can get a cauldron real easy. Yeah, I don't think they're producing glass. In any case, just buy a piece of oak wood. Hmm. They're still upgrading the cidery. Weren't they upgrading that last time I was here? Or were they upgrading the tavern or what? In any case, Ooh, look at that outside the town, a cidery. Yeah, the cider trees are real pretty with their flowering. Let me see if they're selling Calva yet over here. I can find where the... No, they're just selling cider apples. Which I can buy cider apples from the uh, from the town center, and I think that in order to plant cider apples, I might need to talk to the town seneschal and learn it from him, learn their secret art. In any case, I am hoping that I got the right thing here. Park builder. Yes, quest complete. All right. Next, we need the tool station. That is just going to require a copper ingot. Easy as you pleasey. Tool station. And armor station. That's going to require another iron ingot. Zing. Zam. Zoom. Lovely. Now, how do we want to lay this out? Okay, so the tool, the uh, the stencils and the parts builder, I both want, I'll, I'll put the parts chest right here. 
and I guess I want the tool station. Can I upgrade this yet? No, not yet, but soon-ish. Soon-ish. I can upgrade that. And let's put the tool and armor just connected to it. And yes. Oh, that's a wonderful feeling. Okay. Do I have any patterns left? I do. So, now that I have a basic tinker, yeah, let's let's make the parts let's let's make the pattern chest just to just to be complete complete. Oh, that requires a lot of glue. Oh, that requires a lot a lot of glue. At least if I do it uh, completely stupid. Okay, let's. Yeah. Do I have my raft on me? I do. Okay, let's go. I think there might be some platforms that are close to the spawn platform. Maybe. Possibly. If nothing else, there's a lot of unexplored land here for me to poke at. Oh, mining fatigue. Screw you, ocean monument. Dang it. Dang it, and I found one, too. Oh, that's horrific. Well, you know, since we're going to be unable to mine for five minutes anyway, let's um, mark this, and let's keep on going. And just search for any more that we can find. While we wait for the dreaded spoon of doom to disappear. Nothing to do but row around for five minutes while we while we wait. But yes, I, I mentioned that I knew a place to get cauldrons easy. Yeah. These lovely yachts. If I... No, I should have just... Uh, I should have just assumed that the raft would be unable to be quite smart enough. Yes, if I can jump up. There we go. These things have cauldrons on them, but unfortunately I'm not going to be able to get them until the dang Guardian's curse disappears. That is a very good source of super early game money, though, is just uh, dig up some cauldrons from those uh, from those yachts. I think even if you don't recognize them, you should be able to sell them. Because you see that the yachts are very plentiful. And with two of them on each one. And I think those cauldrons are worth a pretty penny. They're worth like five silver or something. You can get yourself a lovely collection of starter funds. Ah, yes. That construct. We won't be playing with that for a little while, but that is certainly an interesting little dome, isn't it? Yes. There is some lovely things inside of that. But we'll be ignoring that for the moment. How are we doing? Two more minutes. I suppose I haven't been searching very efficiently, but I'm still kind of surprised I haven't found one. So many yachts, though. Hmm. 
Yes, I should assume be able to build a better boat. Is that in this chapter? No. But soon-ish. Soon-ish. Better boat. Did I put a bed on the spawn platform for me to skip through the day? further north before we're there. Yeah, just not running into any more of them. I'm gonna need a second chest to complete the quests. But it looks like I might just be limited to crafting it. Okay, so let's get back to spawn platform. And let's see if I have a bed there. You know, I need to get down onto the floor and then do the dinosaur. Looking like a no. Ah, it's looking like a yes. Okay, so my little uh, my little target, and I need to swing wide around the stupid freaking ocean monument. Give that all the space. Avoid it like the plagued construct that it is. Straight up we go, and let's just immediately guess the north side. Yep, it seems that the chest is on the north side pretty much every time. And let's uh, eliminate our marker and give this thing a nice big scar. Yeah, it's noticeable enough. Okay, next up, let's hit up one of those yachts and get us some uh get us some cauldrons to sell. cauldrons. I'm not gonna bother marking this ship in any way. Or, no, not, not spawn. Not spawn. Home base. What? What? <laughs> Let's get out of here. Well, 
that was terrifying. It appears that, uh, it appears that, uh, my set home command has been overridden by something. Shoot, did I place down the mortar and pestle right on my, right on my teleport location? Well, uh, that's inconvenient. Hmm. <laughs> Yes, thankfully for my ego, I tend to panic silently. Productively sometimes, even. <sighs> Just let the adrenaline wash out of the old system there. Oh good, we're suffering hypothermia. The chill of the Reaper chasing us, I suppose. Let's eat something just to keep our health up. Yes. I think tripes provide a little bit of, um, a little bit of accelerated healing for a little while. Keep on going. Ah, good. The bed of smog overhead greeting us, telling us where we need to go. What a lovely... What a lovely beacon we have built for ourselves. Okay, let's get out of this freezing rain before it kills us. Well... We're not out of the rain, we're just in a warmer zone around it. Come on, game. Don't die on me before my player does. Okay. So, let's, um... Let's move our spawn to, I don't know, here. There. Hopefully that will, um... Hopefully that will not try to kill us again. <clears throat> hmm. I guess my torches became infected somehow. Let's just make a new batch. It's fine. Torches are cheap. That's probably fine for now. I don't go into dark areas very often. It's more emergency lighting. Let's... Well, let's also see what cauldrons are worth. Yeah, they're, they're worth two and a half silver each, so that's okay money. They just need one for their tavern, and I think they might need one for something else. Yeah, good. Is there anyone interesting in the market today? No, no one. Not looking like there's anyone here. Yeah, these houses 
Are they fully lit inside? Mm, looking like it. I think I recall that there was one building that the Normans built that always had mobs spawning inside of it. Hmm. They're actually getting guards of their own now, not just the custom NPC ones wandering around. We have a chest, so we can make that pattern chest. So to make that pattern chest, we are going to need nine glue and basically the other accoutrements that we have already made. Well, nothing for it but to make another batch of glue, which is probably gonna need making another batch of refractory clay. So it goes. Let's just make a small batch. Yeah, that's looking like it might be a plan. Because then if I do this, and then further smash it, Then I'll have enough for one of these. And then I'll have enough uh, of that. Out of water? Eh, that's rare. Easy enough to fix. Yeah, pretty soon I think I'm going to need to make walls and a roof for this place just to keep the dang rain out. Rain is getting so cold I'm freezing to death when I'm not near my precious life-giving tinder. Alright. And with that, I'm just going to need a stack of pulp, which is a problem right now. Oh boy. Oh boy. Being moderately less careful now that uh, screwing up on the bucket doesn't mean I uh, lose my nice even pattern. And that occasionally means I spill on the floor. Because I'm clicking a bit faster, a bit more sloppy, a bit less attention paid to it. sugar cane and it's enough.
nothing worse than waiting on the dang glue. I guess make sure I have all my other ducks in a row. So yeah, I need six of those, two of those, two of those. Two, three, four, five of those. Now I'm just down to waiting on the glue. Hmm. I really can't wait till I have a means of filling the soaking pot automatically. Then I can build a more automated system for it. Kind of like my semi-automatic sawmill here. Just have like... Hmm... Should I... Should I soup it up to use more than one soaking pot? Hmm... If I'm fully automating it, one would be nice. Hmm... Then again, I think that once I've finished the Tinker's Rush, I might not need... Well, I'm always gonna need glue. And glue is a major consumer of this. Okay, there we go. And carpenters. Pattern chest! The pattern chest is exactly what it sounds like. It's a chest that's specifically for storing patterns and casts. Yes, it can also store these. You know, I suppose if I build my smeltery here, this could be the pattern chest for everything. Yeah, not have to build two. That's an idea. Anyway, with that, and, and technically before now, but with that I have now say I have a nice little complete Tinker's construction area set up now. So, let's build us a tool. So the way that Tinker's Construct Tools work, for those of you who don't know it, you, tell, you go to your tool station and you see what parts you're going to need. So if I want to build a Tinker's Pickaxe, I'm going to need a tool rod, a binding, and a pickaxe head, right? So then I need to make my patterns a pickaxe head. And you see that because the tables are touching, I can immediately, without... Uh, yeah, and see the pattern chest is in here too. That's why I laid it out like this. So, gonna make myself a pickaxe head. Yeah, I'm gonna make myself a tool rod pattern. And gonna make myself a binding pattern. And that means I'm gonna have to make more patterns to make the final chest in the in the quest line. Let's just get these rewards out of the way, by the way. Nice, some more iron, that's useful. Okay. Oops, not the shop. Well, I should look through the shop and see if there's anything good in there. But that can wait. Kindling. Sure. We have use of tinder from time to time anyway. And wood chips. All right. So, we then need to, yes, I, I remember, we then need to go over to our pattern, our part builder, and we take our stencil, and we take a material that we want to build out of. In this case, I'm going to make a sponge tool rod. Trust me on this. I'm going somewhere. Yes. See? This is, to my knowledge, the only way of gaining Silk Touch in the game right now. Uh, there is a Tinker's modifier called a Silky Jewel, but um, yeah, 
that's not happening for a little while. But we can still obtain Silk Touch by making a, a part out of a sponge. Not to mention, uh, if we put sponge on armor, then armor gets stronger in water and rain, which is very useful. Anyway, a nice little squeaky tool rod. Our pattern. What do I want to make a pattern out of? Or a binding, I should say. Let's get closer to our sweet life-giving tinder while I'm muttering away at this. So, the binding, all it does is it adds a little bit of durability to the tool. So you can essentially treat it as something you want for these. See how these things say ecological, cheap, crude, spiky? Those are modifiers. And essentially you treat the, wood, the binding as a modifier that you're looking for. So, um... Ecological causes very slow regeneration over time. That's a good one. Uh, da, 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 fractured aquadynamic. I mean, unnatural, tasty, magnetic might be useful. Writable is always useful. Stiff. What does stiff do? Lightweight is always useful, but I can't get hard carbon yet. Not until I have a... Oh, I can't, oh that says dense in very badly colored text. Stiff. What the heck does stiff do? If I want to look up what these modifiers do, not just rely on my uh, common knowledge, I'll need to make a materials and you book. And unfortunately for that, I'm going to need... A scribe's workshop, which I think should be doable, but I'm going to need creosote oil, which right now isn't. But yes, the scribe's workshop is, um, uh, yeah, no. So getting the actual manual to tell me what the materials do is going to have to wait till the next stage, and I'm just going to have to rely on my own knowledge at the moment of what I want. I might need the Norman pickaxe for this. But, um, yes, right now it's looking like maybe, maybe iron might be the best bet for that magnetic modifier. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over to my part builder, and I'm going to make myself a stone binding. Oh, wait, cheap. Yeah, I, I can look it up on here, I think. Yeah, cheap. Increases durability gained when, when repairing the tool. That might be useful. But, um... Yes. And now I can just make casts. You see? I can make casts of all the tool parts that I want. I don't need to uh, build them from some other source like I had to for uh, for the tool rods. With my part builder, I'm capable of making whatever parts I want, and I can make really cheap stone parts just to make casts, because yes, they will be annihilated. So, for now, I'm just going to go with a, with a metal binding. We'll let that melt up, because just like... Uh, and for my tool head... I'm gonna hunt me down some prismarine. There should be some rocks of it sitting around on the ocean floor somewhere. Otherwise, if I'm really hard up, I can go all the way to the abyss for it. But generally, prismarine isn't too hard to find. Where's my flashlight? Is that pris? No, that's cobble. I think I've seen a couple rocks along the uh, cliff wall here. There's usually these little scattered prismarine collections. There's one. Now. Prismarine is technically an unknown material to us right now, but that ain't going to stop us from putting it in the part builder. Now, 
That ain't gonna stop us at all. Now... I, I should wait until I get up on the platform. Before I start comparing the potential tool parts I could make. Yes. Now, Prismarine is a bit of a... If I look up the list of pickaxe heads I can make at the moment, Prismarine is over here, and it has a 5.5 mining speed, which is kind of meh, a mining level of iron, so it'll, it'll be the equivalent of an iron pick, and 430 durability. Attack is irrelevant because we have Sponge on here, and Squeaky negates all attack damage. So, compared to other parts we could make... Let's compare that to, like, an... Well, not a steel. We can't make steel. Let's compare that to an iron pickaxe. A bit better mining speed, diamond level mining, but less durability. And it would have the magnetic 2 quality. If we're already getting magnetic from our part binding, then... Yes. Those two aspects, jagged and aquadynamic. Jagged, I think, is useless to us because of the squeaky part. It increases attack damage the lower durability the weapon is. But aqua dynamic causes the, causes the uh, tool to mine faster when you're in water or when it's raining. And since we're going to be doing a lot of underwater mining, that's pretty nice. That's pretty neat. So, yes. I think we will be going with a prismarine head which uh, yep there it goes it uses two per so you need to be a little bit uh, wonky with it when it's an unknown material but uh, and an iron binding there we go and that's just to give us a magnetic which will um, if I put it on here it should tell me uh, magnetic yeah, that'll cause it to draw items in slightly. So, then we just take it all over here. And there we are. And we can preview what we'll be making. It'll have 826 durability, a mining level of iron, 5.5 mining speed. You know, is there anything that'll give me reinforced right now? Reinforced would be a better than magnetic. Mm. Yeah, I think the only other one I would consider would be writable so far. Mm. No, I guess not. So, there we are. A prismarine pickaxe. And a really lovely thing right now is... I can just make these, what are, which ones are these? Um, that's sharpening kit, I think. Yeah. Polishing kit, oh yeah, that's another thing. So long as the, uh, so long as you don't take it out, you can keep on clicking on it to re-decide which pattern you want. And I think it's even possible, like, to put a set pattern in here and, yeah. So, do I have a repair kit pattern? It should be a squarish looking thing. Hmm. I think it should just be able to make a repair kit. Don't tell me it, it is just a straight up sharpening kit. Well, sharpening kit is something I'm going to want anyway. Let's, let's see if I'm right about it. So... Combine with a flint, yeah. That is another feature if we need more mining level. But let's see if I'm, I'm right about it uh, being able to repair out in the field. So, we have a nice little pick here with lots of durability. And it mines pretty darn quick. Lovely stuff. Let me turn on F7 mode. But, more importantly, because it has a squeaky part on it, it should... Oh yeah, those geolysis, geolosis 
But it should. Oh. I was hoping. Yeah, I guess that... I guess that uh, Pyrotech overrides Silk Touch. And forces things to turn into... Pebbles, regardless. That's a bit depressing. I was hoping that by having a Silk Touch tool, I could just dig up raw stone. But if I can find myself some pyrotech limestone anywhere in here, which I don't think I do, I need to go over to the Sunwell mine. Yeah. Well, does Silk Touch work on any other thing? No, it's not working. Dang it. Dang it, Pyrotech. You're ruining my groove. Man, yeah, this is, uh... This is, uh... Titanium. Even though we don't know what these ores are, we can still put them in the melter. Or the smelter, or... You know, we, we can put them in machines. So, if we have a machine that can process them... Come on. Come on, game. Yes. Oh. But you're squeaky. Why are you not silk touching? I actually tried this in creative. Yeah, these... These pyrotech ones should be pulling up the block. Oh, come on. I got gypped. Well. That was very nearly disastrous. Let's see if uh, at least I'm right about a sharpening kit being able to repair it in the field. No. Damn. Do we have the thing that allows us to just repair? Uh, no. Well, the good news, though, is that uh, even though we can't repair in the field, seemingly, I could swear there was a repair kit. Maybe we just haven't unlocked it yet? Regardless, we can go over to our tool station and we can take a piece of the material that the head is made out of and we can repair our tools now. So no longer are we going to be recrafting our tools all the time. Instead, when they run low, we will be simply... Huh, I got a piece of limestone. Anyway, instead, when they are running low, we will be able to simply repair them using a piece of whatever material they are made out of. And prismarine is a material I chose uh, both for its aquadynamic properties and because it is extremely plentiful and easy to find. All I need to do is go a single trip into the abyss and I can come back with stacks and stacks of this stuff. And I don't know why that silk touch ain't working. Hmm. I mean, is my tool saying it's silk touch if I put it in the tool station? No, not you. You. Jagged. Hmm. Oh no, it's saying Silk Touch down there, yeah. So, Silk Touch does not work in Journey Beyond the Abyss, I guess. Or at least, it's very limited. I should at least be able to mine cobble without turning it into pebbles. No. What the hell? Well... <clears throat> Yeah, what the hell. Let's make some more tools. Let's make us a shovel and an axe. Just to round out the evening. 
and uh, let's in fact do a quick trip to the abyss just because I had so little luck finding finding more uh, prismarine out in the wild and in any case this will serve as a nice test of our new spawn location or uh, home base location seven mode off down into the hole we go and uh you might have noticed uh modifiers yeah i can further customize these tools tinker's construct is very lovely very munchkiny Yep, easy as that. Yeah, just a piece of glowstone. Thankfully, the abyss isn't chunk loaded. All right, cross your fingers. Okay, we're not dead. We are not dead yet. Okay, so, axe head, prismarine, please. Shovel head, prismarine. Technically, I could make a mattock, and that would serve the purpose of an axe and uh, partially the shovel, but uh, I don't think it's capable of shoveling gravel or sand, which is 90% of what I run into out there. And I think that... I think that maybe the hatchet is what would be used in crafting recipes. Like uh, making work tables and stuff, if anything is used at all. If tinkers can be used at all. So, since the sponge failed, and since I'm out of it anyway, what is the next best tool rod to make things out of? Okay, so tool rods, they add some base durability, but the modifier is also a multiplier for... Uh, the total durability of the tool, so modifier is more important. Yeah. End rod is decent. Yeah, and you can see that sponge is actually a very good handle. I guess it's comfy in your hand. Iron is halfway decent. Bronze is good. Copper is relatively good. Well, and I suppose, yeah, copper might be what we go with then. Let's just get two pieces of copper to put in there. Yes, and the copper's effect, well established, causes the tool to occasionally drop extra little nibblies of experience. And let's get two more iron to make the bindings out of. Just because I like that magnetic effect. And zoop and zoop. Come on, iron. Melt down for me, please. There we go. A couple of nice bindings for us. And just like that, we can go into our tool station and make us a hatchet and a shovel. Oh, aren't they beautiful? Now, let's test real quick whether... Let's see here. 
I think it would be like this, like this. No, it's looking like I might not be able to. Well, let's test a work table. That's the one thing I still inventory craft. Oh well, it's ruined by me still having it. No, so I'm going to need to occasionally make a crafting axe, as it were. At least as long as I need more work tables. I suppose I can have this as uh, the axe of honor. However, the shovel should be capable of use in the compacting bin. Yeah, there it goes. Ah, lovely. And um, when a tinker tool is fully repaired, you can just swap the parts out. So if I get tired of, like, if I decide these magnetic bindings are not serving me well, I can make a wood binding and just put it on there. It would destroy the iron binding. So don't be frivolous about rare materials. But, uh, yeah, you can, you can just constantly upgrade and swap your tools. These are our forever tools. Hmm. They need names. Yeah. They need names. That's good for now. And yes, things can just be renamed for free on the Tinker Table. I think even regular things can be... No? No? It used to be that you could just rename anything on these tool stations, and you would never need to make name tags. I guess that got patched out. In any case, this is a new era. We have our forever tools. Yes. Lovely. No longer will we be scrabbling for constantly recrafting. Instead, uh, when we run out, we'll be running back to this table here instead. But it's slightly different. And eventually, eventually we'll be able to make things like reinforcements, which we haven't even unlocked yet. And we'll be able to make our tools have uh, levels of durability that'll cause them to do things like uh, tick damage less often. We'll be able to uh, pile redstone on them in order to make them go faster. We'll in unlock materials that will give them vast swaths of durability and usability. And modifiers that can cause amazing effects. Tinker's Construct is amazing. And uh, we also have Tinker's Armor. But unfortunately, I think that'll have to wait until I have a proper smeltery so I can make steel. Because I definitely want steel plates on my armor. That is just a nice, lovely build I've made myself in creative that I'm gunning for there. But yes, new tools, excitement, lovely, lovely times. Good night, everybody. <laughs>